Hi guys, happy Vlogmas Day 7. It is Tuesday and I haven't even, well, while I'm recording this, I haven't even gotten up the first week of Vlogmas. We're running a little bit behind. But um, yeah, it's already like two o'clock and I still haven't gotten ready for the day. I've been working all morning, kind of boring stuff. You know, mess in the background. This is just how the apartment looks all the time during the holiday season. Um, but I actually have really exciting packages I wanted to open um, for Vlogmas. I ordered a bunch of stuff from Ariane Beauty, Ariana Grande's new makeup line, and I haven't tried any of it yet because it got shipped in like two separate packages. And I kind of just wanted to like open it and review it all like at one time. So it's gonna be a little first impressions video. And yeah, I have a bunch of other stuff that I wanna show you guys. Okay, I actually made a bunch of new makeup purchases. Recently, um, this brand, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like Refi or Refi. It's by Jess Hunt. My hair's crazy right now. Um, but this brand, it's by Jess Hunt. I recently started following her on Instagram. I like love her style. She's like a cool girl, like probably seen her on Pinterest, just like everything. Um, and she has the most insane brows. So she came out with... Okay. So she came out with a makeup line. Again, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like Refi, Refi. Not entirely sure, but like I said, her brows are like so good. And so I just obviously had to try out her brow gel and I really, really, really like it. Um, my ride or die is the Benefits uh, 24 hour brow setter. It's like still my ride or die. There's something about that. It's legit 24 hours, like nothing will top it, but I really like this one as well. It's kind of like a thicker formula, but it's like a white, I don't know if you can really see that, but let me get the beauty guru hand up. It's like a white, um, thick formula, but it's not, it doesn't leave like a white cast or like cakey feeling. It dries down clear, so it looks a little crazy right now. And then I usually just like use my finger to put it in place. I mean, literally look, so good. I really like, it gives you that laminated brow look. Yeah, just like go like this and then like see how I'm wiping some of my skin I usually just like wipe it off with a wet q-tip so that I don't have all of that like stickiness on there but what I really like about this is it's like a two-in-one so you just pull off the cap like this and it has this really cool it's not even really like a spoolie but it kind of has like a flat brush bristle situation and then you're really able to like push all of those brow hairs up for oh my god why do I keep dropping this for that laminated brow look. And then I kind of just shape it from there. I always do my brow gel first because I feel like I'm just like constantly rubbing and shaping and like getting the product everywhere. So I don't want it to like go on top of my foundation if that makes sense. But I mean, look at the difference. Like, that's crazy. This brow is so much better than this one. For some reason this brow just doesn't, no matter what I do, can never catch up to the right brow. She always has less hair. She's the ugly stepsister. But it's fine. Okay, so like I said, I get like a lot of residue when I do it the way that I do it. So I just need to like clean up the skin around the brow just so that makeup and stuff doesn't build on it because that's not cute. So I just take a damn Q-tip and just like literally wipe off all of that kikiness. Okay, and then foundation. This, you guys, literally my ride or die foundation right now. It's so good. There's barely any left. I need to purchase a new one while the Sephora sale is still happening because they're doing 20% off, I think. Like, the whole site, even though you're not, like, the top tier. I don't know what it's called. Like, Rogue, Rouge, whatever. Um, but this is literally the best bare tint situation. It's bare look tint. That's what it's called. It's like, I don't know if it's technically a foundation because it's so light, but it gives enough coverage for me. There's my foundation brush. Oh, okay. Um, But yeah, there's like barely any left. Right now I'm using um, shade 14, which is a pretty good match. I could probably go down to 13 in the winter because I'm not as tan anymore. But this is just like, oh yeah, it matches my neck. I just tan though because my girl has not been getting any sun but I freaking love it and it smells so good. I can't even describe it. It kind of has like a, it's not super strong. It's not like, you know, you're gonna have the strong scent under your nose the entire day, but I really like the smell of it. I don't know what it is. It just smells so good. See how it's like, doesn't fully cover everything, but it 
evens up my skin tone, covers up a little bit, and then I'll just go in with like a thin layer after that, just to kind of cover those spots a little bit more, like all my acne scars. It's literally perfect. And it lasts all day. It's just like a really good your skin but better um, foundation, which I've like never been able to find a one that I really like because I like a lot of coverage. So this gives me coverage without being like heavy and it still gives me that like light, no, no makeup kind of look. I'm just gonna go in with my fave e.l.f. concealer. This is in the shade Medium Sand. Just to like brighten up right here. This one's really light. I thought I got medium tan, but I got this one. I don't really remember exactly which shade I'm supposed to be, but however we make it work. The sun is like going in and out right now. I feel like the lighting is so cray cray. Alright. Okay, so I haven't really been doing powder bronzer that much. Like I'll do a little bit, but I've just been going in with like a contour stick. This one is from Persona Cosmetics. I really like this one. It's in the shade Sahara, I think. Yeah, Sahara. And then I just like to use my foundation brush. That way it's like there's like a little bit of foundation left on it and it just, I don't know what it is. It just like gives like a really natural contour without being so muddy. So I'm just gonna buff all of that in. I'm really into cream products lately and then I'll just like powder where I need to so that I don't get like oily and shiny. Really natural and not too dry, especially in the winter. I like to use cream products because oh, my skin just gets so gross and dry and crusty. And we don't want any of that. So now I'm going in with a little bit of Rare Beauty liquid blush. I freaking love this blush. It is everything to me. Let's see, I don't have a little blender out here. I'm just gonna use this brush, but this is in the shade Joy. For this one, you really have to like work quickly because it's really pigmented and dries down quickly. Get at it ASAP. Look how pretty. Oh, my God. oh, I'm so obsessed. Can't get enough. I go really light handed with it with the applicator because it is so pigmented. Did I miss a step? Oh, no, I'm good. Okay. I think we're good. So now, let's see. I was going to do four freckles, but I just don't feel like doing that today. Oh, I got to finish my brows. I didn't finish my brows. I got the um, Refi brow pencil. I don't know where it is. I like it. There's nothing wrong with it. But I don't know. Brow pencils to me, it's like they're all not the same, but you can find like a good drugstore one. So I would use it, but I just don't know where it is. I'm going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I really like this one. I got it because I just did not have any brow products for the longest time. And I just picked it up. It's my first time using it. I just picked it up at Tarche. Hold on, I need some concentration. So I already did the brow gel. And then I always do this part after just filling in all of the sparse areas. I kind of just like make the outline, if that makes sense. And then I'll brush it up. And then that kind of like fills it a little bit more naturally than if I was like drawing all the lines, which I do, but I don't go too heavy handed with it because I like a natural brow so I'll just fill in all of those sparse areas I like this one too because it's a really fine tip so I never do makeup videos because it's so hard for me to like talk through what I'm doing and then also motherfuck see I feel that one too sick it's hard for me to talk and also do you know what I mean I just can't multitask like that I'll just get too distracted or I'm like too concentrated so I can't like execute the way I want it to. See, I'm already messing up this brow. My eyes have been so watery too and I really want to do like a full look with the Aryan Beauty including the eyeshadow palette but my eyes have just been so dry and like ugh. But we'll see. We'll see what we can come up with because I do want to give you guys a little review. I'm by no means a makeup pro, a review guru gal, but I'm gonna let you guys know what I think. You guys know that I stand Ariana too. So we'll see if it's worth the hype. Cause I know people have been really liking it slash like are surprised with it. 
Um, I haven't even opened my second box yet, so we'll see. Okay, brows are done. Kind of going all over the place right now with the order of my makeup. We're about to set my under eye. All right, so now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. One of my faves, I'm running out. But I like this, I'm obsessed with this Hourglass brush. I don't even know what it's called, but it's like a little, it's like a smaller brush on the bottom and then a bigger brush on top. And I just like using the smaller one for like under my eye. I like never bake anymore, I just, it's too much work. So I just kind of go in the areas, like my T-zone, under my eye, my chin, and then like lightly everywhere else. I don't go too, oh my gosh, crazy with the powder. So like I said, I got one order. So let me show you guys what I first got. Cause I kind of was like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get this, this, and this, and see what I like about it and then like then the video started coming out of like makeup artists doing tutorials and stuff and I was like fuck I need to place another order so I literally placed two orders like an hour apart from each other on launch day so everything kind of came in separate packages this I would like to say that I'm actually liking the packaging I didn't really like it at first um I thought it did look cheap but in person it's Sorry, I'm like looking for these other fucking lashes. The packaging is actually a lot like, I don't know how to explain it, but a lot like nicer than I thought it was gonna be. I think a few, the few photos that came out of it, I was kind of like, oh, it does look really cheap, but it's also just packaging. I'm like more concerned about the product and how it actually performs, but I actually really like the packaging. It reminds me of like, oh my God, what was that dog? It gives me Poochie vibes. Back in the early 2000s slash like late 90s, I'm, late 90s I'm not really sure but Poochie the robot dog the, this looks like something that would be in it I love it so this is the REM Beauty baby doll eyeshadow palette it's also a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be in the pictures it just looked smaller but the cuts I just got of course like the most basic neutral palettes really cute good for every day and then I also got some lashes I don't know where the I got two I got both of the lashes this one is the Eternally, it, the eternally meowing lashes, and then I got another pair. Pair. I'm gonna have to. Why can't I speak today? I got another pair, but I have to go find. I think it's in my closet. But this is the other box with my like huge order. I honestly forgot what I ordered. Look how cute. Packaging is very minimal. It's like all paper, all recyclable, which we love. Yes, I'm so excited. Okay. So here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. I'm pissed because I wish I got it in the purple highlighter shade that everyone was raving about. Um, I'll have to order that when it's back in stock because I think it's sold out. But everybody has been raving about this highlighter. I'm so excited to try it. It looks like it just melts into your skin. I just, you guys, I love the packaging. It's a lot more like heavy and more expensive feeling in person. Like I said, it kind of just looked like toy makeup kind of in like some of the pictures that I saw on line before the launch, but I actually really like it. <sighs> so pretty. I also love how all the compacts have a mirror. This is in the shade Miss Mercury. So cute. So excited to try that. And then I also got ah the eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. This is the plumping gloss. Oh, this is cute. It's really tiny. I like the color though. Oh. I don't love that. I get it's supposed to be like Y2K, but I like don't like when glosses have an applicator like that. I just like want more control with like, or like, you know, like a little, what's it called? Like a wand. And then I got a couple of their liquid eyeshadows. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my, so pretty. I feel like it's not even really picking up on camera that well, but this is one of the liquid eyeshadows in Fembot. I wish that the lip gloss had like something like this. Okay, cute. Let's see. <gasps> Shut up. Oh my god, wait. Hold on, you guys. What? That is so freaking pretty if it would focus. Oh my god, see, this is why I can't be a beauty guru. What the fuck? Holy shit, that is so pretty. So that's Fembot. And then I got another one um, in Hot Lava. Oh, this one's really pretty. It's like more of a coppery color. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so... They're so pigmented. 
Look at that. Oh my, I'm like obsessed with this Fembot color. Sorry, it's not focusing. I don't, I'm not good at this, you guys. And then I also got a matte lipstick. And I think this is just like a normal bullet lipstick. Like it's not like a liquid lipstick. And I have seen the packaging of this and I'm obsessed. Look how cute. I love the space theme. Look how cute that is. Obsessed. This is in the shade. Oh yeah, this is like, oh, I can already tell I'm going to be obsessed with this. That's like the perfect nude this is in the shade um bubbly okay because my eyes are like freaking out on me right now i don't know if i'm gonna mess around with the liquid eyeshadows today just because my eyes are so watery and i don't even really want to do eye makeup in general right now but for the sake of the video i will do what i can so this is the um baby doll eyeshadow palette i'm just gonna go in with i don't know if there's shade names i'm gonna go in with this one i think just like all over the lid it's just like um basic brown actually i'm gonna go in with a little bit of both this and that work that into the crease oh yeah this is like the perfect everyday palette this is my problem eye today it's like just it's doing too much okay and then i'm gonna go in with this kind of like bone shade right here I usually like to go in with a shade like this to blend into my brow bone and like the edge of the eyeshadow that i just added just make it look a little bit more seamless. I think I will go in with a little bit of this second shade right here. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it. I'm just gonna add that. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. Okay. Well, I barely dipped into that product. Wow. We'll do like a faux cut crease. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Okay, shocked about that pigment. I mean, you just never know what to expect with celebrity makeup lines, you know? Like, I love Ariana, but I don't know what I was expecting. I was hoping that it would be good, and so far, so good. But I really like that color. That's so pretty. I don't know if there's, like, shade names or something. I'm looking at these. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, so I'm still going in with that second shade, that shimmer shade, and I'm just putting that on my lid. Oh my god, what is wrong with me today? I think I'm gonna go in with this dark brown shade on the end and just kind of like darken the outer corners a little bit. Oh yeah, that's what we needed. Yes, Ariana, oh my god. I'm really happy that I like it because I would have been sad if I didn't <laughs> so far. I'm excited to try the lip gloss. Okay, so that's the eye look. I don't really wanna do too much again because my eye is just like not cooperating today. Everything is also pretty affordable. I think the most expensive thing was this palette. And it was like 20 something. For an eyeshadow palette with six colors, six shades, not too shabby. And I usually like to do like a little bit of um, eyeshadow underneath, like on my, what do you call this? My waterline. All right, we're just gonna have to use, let's see what we're just gonna use, maybe this one. I'm gonna just take that brown shade and Brush that on. Oh my, God, my fingers are so double jointed. Sorry, that's so gross. I'm just gonna put it on my lower lash line. And now I, ugh, this is not the best brush for that, but whatever. Now I'm gonna go in with the liquid eyeliner. This is just like a black liquid liner. And I'm pretty picky about my liquid eyeliner. So let's see, I do like that it's a felt tip. I don't really like brush tips, honestly. I know everyone's a little bit different, but. I don't know how I'm going to do this on camera, so sorry if I cover it. I need all of the concentration. I'm not even going to talk. That's really nice. Okay, I'm going to do the other one off camera because it's just like too much pressure. Okay, we're backtracking a little bit. I forgot to contour my nose. <laughs> so we're just going to do a little bit of powder bronzer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury palette. I love this palette. I'm going to go really light. I usually just use like a little eyeshadow brush like this. I need to go grab those lashes because I think I wanted to use the other ones instead. But I do really want to try this highlighter in Miss Mercury. Okay. Oh my god. That is so pretty. I feel like it's like not doing it justice. <gasps> what? it on the nose yes on the bridge 
Okay, yep. This is my new favorite highlighter. I also feel like that's another thing, like highlighters are so blah. Uh, nothing really impresses me with highlighters anymore, but this is... I just did a little bit on my Keep It's Sorry, because I'm about to do my lips. This is just like my go-to lip liner. This is ColourPop BFF3. It's like a dark brown nude. I'm just gonna line my lips. My lips are so freaking dry. This weather has got me. I don't get girls who can line their lips so quickly in like one swipe. I literally could never. Look, and it's still crooked. I gotta clean this shit up. See, it's already messed up. I don't get how people do that. With all my lip liners, I like to just blend it out a little bit. So it looks really natural. This one is the matte lipstick in Bubbly. I feel like I'm, ooh, that's so cute. This is what the bullet looks like. So pretty, has like a little stamping of REM on it. Okay, definitely pinkier than I thought it was gonna be. I always go with a darker lip liner than the lipstick. So that way there's more definition there. I mean, lips are definitely very crusty, but that's a really good everyday nude. Yeah, I'm obsessed with that, that's a good one. Maybe for the sake of it, I'm gonna try this. I really like this is bothering me. I don't like the packaging of this at all, um, but let's see, because I just feel like it's almost hard to even push. It's not like a juicy tube. All right, so we've relined. The lips, I removed that other lipstick and just started over and relined my lips, but I'm gonna go in with the plumping lip gloss in Away Message. Love the name, that's so cute. But I just, again, I just wish it was like a a wand, you know? But we'll see how it comes out. I just like to have a little bit more control. This looks like it's gonna be the perfect nude though. Oh my God, yeah. Okay. Oh, it has a, a minty scent and taste. I just, I hate this applicator, but I do like the shade. This is so pretty. The shade is really pretty and I really like the scent and the taste. So that's really pretty. This is something that I would wear like every day. This was a really good nude. Okay, yes, we love. I'm gonna have to use her though because <laughs> I like this color too much. Especially with this lip liner, it gives that like dark nude 90s lip gloss vibe. Okay, now I am going to go in with lashes. Okay, so I got both of the lashes. I think there's only two styles, so yeah, I got both. This is the one that I showed you guys earlier in Eternally Meowing. And then these are Grow and Show, which these are like kind of like the typical wispy lash I usually go for. So I think I'm gonna go for these today. They're just, they're so pretty. Um, I forgot how much these were. I think I wanna say 16, which isn't expensive, but it's like more than, I don't know, like a House of Lash Lash. So I think these ones are a little bit more on the pricey end, but also not the most expensive that I've seen. Okay, I thought I was recording, <laughs> but I wasn't. Um, I just put on this first lash, so nothing too exciting, but it is so pretty. I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara to it as well. This is another thing I just like can't do it on camera. It's like so difficult for me. Okay. Yes. Okay, those are good. Ooh! I'm so obsessed with these. This is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do my hair, so I'll be right back. Okay, so my battery died. This is the final look. Um, it's already 4.30, so it's basically pitch black outside, but I wanted to show you guys before I take it off because there was literally no point to me doing my makeup today because it's already 4.30, so. Also these lashes, dare I say new favorite. They're so pretty. Obviously those are the eyeshadow palette, not like I needed another like, brown neutral everyday palette but we'll def be using that every day and the lip gloss we love her just the tube because like this color is really pretty and it's a nice subtle plump but that tube has has got to go pretty much everything is fire like this highlighter bum we're currently watching 90 Day Fiance and there's like a yoga competition between the mom and one of the girls. <laughs> Netta. Netta was like, it's not a competition. Do whatever you want to do. She took her socks off and everything. Because I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. This is what we've been doing since. Yeah, and like Steven walked in and we were both on the floor. <laughs> anyway, that's what. <laughs> Thank you so much. And, uh, and, and, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>